Hello, I'm Em, and this is Minecraft, with a couple of mods in. It's gonna get cozy. At least that's what I hope. Let's begin with some... a little bit of exploration, some resource gathering, and then building a house. I guess things are still rendering in. I do like how open this is. So, the main two mods that I have added are Create and Farmer's Delight. But for the most part, I'd like for this to be a relatively chill-paced building world with a little bit of technology and some farming. And we can get going straight away with some crops. Let's just... Let's get all of these. And some grass, why not? You know, I actually really like this spawn area. I think I think we'll stick by here. And we're not gonna go all that far to begin with, I don't think. This is a really nice little lake. We've got some nice flat areas that will be nice for farming. We've already got some this stuff that I've completely forgotten the word for, sugarcane. I think this will be a good start. I will replant this on the shore of the lake, because I think otherwise I will lose track of it. Um, let's get some trees. getting a few little lag spikes as we wander around. I'm hoping those will go away as we have explored things. I think it's just new chunks generating, but we'll, we'll see. Ah, it looks like a village over there, so oh, it's, it's tempting to not. It's tempting to try and keep it survival, but I think I will steal a bed. Mm. What do we have? Ah, tomato seeds. Beautiful. Some more onions, apples, bread, potatoes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Might as well, while we're at it, steal a chest. Oh yeah, and a bed, that's what we came here for. That is what we came here for. I'll take a quick look, see if there's anything else worth nicking. And what crops do we have? Let's see if there's any carrots in here. Nope. Yay! Ooh, and beetroot, from the looks of things. We'll just take these. I feel bad. And I don't know why, because it's just a video game. But I feel bad, so I'm going to leave them alone. Okay, okay, okay. I think this is the direction we came from. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's sheep, that's that cluster. Let's take a look at these mountains, see what kind of view we get up here. Oh, another beautifully flat area. I like it, I like it. And a desperate need for bedtime. Let's just sleep. Okay, let's get our bearings, because I would like to set up near that lake that we started on. Yes, yeah, so I think we started over in that direction. Cows. Yellow. Oh, that's... That's a whole setup just waiting to happen. Okay, don't wander too far. We'll probably come back for you. I'm also interested in that area over there, because it looks like it'll be pretty rich in resources. X. Let's go up this way. Take a peek. Llamas. Oh, and a swamp. This might be the spot up here. I'll quickly grab those trees. She <laughs> <You> know. <laughs> I will get some stone tools, and then I will get some trees. Okay. 
couple of those, one of these. What's that? We've got one, two, three different types of sapling already. And we barely looked. I love it. I love it. Maybe we'll find some surface iron out here. There's definitely some surface coal. Same to you too, sheep. Beautiful. It's possibly one of the easiest starts I've ever had. So I already have a house in mind. I know that I would like to build with diorite. It's not going to be as horrific as it sounds, because I do have a couple of mods in which add a little bit of variation to the stone and various other building blocks. So we'll have some reasonably nice white bricks, is the plan anyway. That looks like it might be acacia as well. Given we're already on day number two and we're about to hit day three and I haven't settled down yet or built anything, I will go back and look at that later. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got a decent amount of coal already. Is there any more iron? That would be great. Let's take a look at another mod which I have. Zero's world map. Oh, okay, so there's... is that the village? No, we visited this village up here. And this is our big lake down here. Um, this is the other big flat area we've just seen. Looks like there's another village over here. Ooh, and that looks like it could be... Yep, there's a dark oak forest over that way. Um, I think that's the village I just saw in the distance. I do like this area though, and that looks like a good cave up there. Let's start by building, I think, up on top of this hill. So we're facing in the right direction right now. Let's just go for it. Okay. Let's set up a classic little base. What do we have? One, two, um, a chest, a furnace, and let's get that iron smelting, and we'll make some torches, oh, and, of course, sleep into bed. Okay, so we have some iron, get a shield going, chest plate, and some leggings. Can we afford a hat? I guess we could. Let's go with a pickaxe though. I think that would be most sensible to have. Which leaves us... A bucket. We'll do a bucket. And then that leaves us just enough for some shears as well. I thought I saw a hole in the ground. Yeah. Oh jeez, that is steep. That is steep. Can we get in the other way safely? Two, three, mm. Yeah, let's, let's do our best. A free shovel. Nice. Oh, well. Nearly broken shovel, but it was free, so... Okay. I'll take it. Oh, 
I'm wondering trader already? <laughs> in here? I mean sure, I'll see what you got. Um Ah, oh, nothing of interest. Well, that's some of the worst. <laughs> oh dear. So we're almost ready to start building. Um, I just need to remember the recipe for the stone cutter. I think it's smooth stone and uh, an iron ingot. Yes. Good, good, good. So we're going to need a lot of cut diorite bricks. And because there's more than one mod, I've got two different types of diorite bricks. And there's actually a third type. Um, which is possibly a little bit too many, but it does make for some decent texture, so I will start building with these. Let's face out to the front, let's give ourselves some space for a garden, and I think I'll do, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's roughly what I had in mind. I'll shift that back a bit more. Just so I can fit the stuff inside it for now. 11 by 13, I think that's a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'll have a little kitchen over this way. something like this to get us started. So I think this is the basic shape of the house. If I pop into the free camera mode, I've got some downstairs window placements. I still need a roof. It looks a lot like a ruined house at the moment, which I kind of don't hate. But I think the next thing I want to do is pop down to the deep slate layer and get some tiles for the roof. So I've still got some work to go, but I think the basic bones are there. I need to grow oh, <laughs> a bunch of those. Um, I need to grow a bunch of trees to get the flooring in. Um, but I think we'll be able to start using this soon. Ground floor will be at about this level. I could put the next floor in up about there. And then the next floor would be another there. I guess it's feeling safe enough as a house already because I didn't even notice it getting dark. I was happy to just stay in here. This is the shell of the house. Finished, I believe. Uh, so we will have the doorway there. It's gonna look a little bit nicer than that. That's not finished. 
Space for some windows. And down here, so we'll probably have storage straight as we come in over here. And then maybe a room coming up to here-ish with a couple of double... these things. Double chests. Put a little bedroom over in this corner. This little nook back here, I will wall that off somewhat like this. But not quite like that. But that will become a kitchen, and then in here we'll have some of the Farmer's Delight kitchen blocks. We'll have a stove, we'll have some place to prepare food. Out here we've got a little back door. That's going to have, I think, a little pathway going down into this area, which will have some of our first food farm things. I will do a proper staircase, this is very temporary right now. I'm not quite sure what I'll have up here. I know in this corner I want to do a little enchanting nook. Uh, so there's space for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then probably 12, 13, 14. There'll be space for 14 bookshelves there. I forget exactly how many we need to get up to 30 levels. And then there'll be the little enchantment table in the middle. Um, a little window out looking over the kitchen. Possibly a map room, I'm not quite sure. We will punch some more windows in here, but I'll wait to see where we get with the interior for that. And... I'm not sure what to do with the attic, but I would like to do something up here. I will punch out a dormer window somewhere on the front, but I'm not quite sure where. But yeah, this is the house. I'm rather pleased with it. We'll do some more decorations. I have more things in mind. But thank you for watching. Let me know if you've liked this by leaving a comment below, or liking, or subscribing. Um, and I will be back with the next video where we will continue building this cozy little town. Probably making some farms. Catch you later. Bye.